Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 17 brings many new features and changes. And just like we've been covering every week, one specific section of those changes this week, I thought we'd take a look at music and podcasts. Now music gets quite a few significant updates. And the first one is something we've wanted for a very long time. When you're playing a song, when you go to the next song, you can have it crossfade from one to the next. This is enabled in settings. If you go into your settings, go down to music under music. If you scroll down, you'll see the option for crossfade. Now you can adjust this from one second to 12 seconds. I actually find that it works best for me at six seconds, somewhere in between where it will fade from one song to the next. Now, as you can see, this actually says crossfade is unavailable while using airplay, but it works every other time when you're playing a song, when you're actually getting ready to go to the next song, it will just seamlessly transition and fade into that. The next change has to do with the album itself. If you're playing a song and the artist supports it, the album artwork will either animate or just be static and then fade down into the music player. This looks really great. And it's the same thing on light or dark mode. It's up to the artist, what it actually looks like. So it's a seamless transition from the album artwork itself down into the music player. Now, not all artists support this. So if I go to an artist that doesn't support Support this. We'll just press play here, go over to Ramsey's B and you'll see the album artwork is just there by itself, but the background matches it. So it takes some cues from the album artwork and then fades it down into the rest of the interface. So this still looks pretty good, but if it doesn't support it, of course you won't see it like that. It just depends on the artist itself. Now, also, if you go into a song, and then we go and hit play again. You'll see that the actual mini music player, when it's minimized and maybe you're looking at artwork or maybe your library, it sort of hovers over the interface and has a background now that's sort of a shadow. Maybe you can see this a little better in light mode, but it sort of hovers over the interface itself. So if you're going into browse or library while it's playing, it will just show there. And then of course you have your pause and then forward control. So super nice looks really good. And I think it's a great way to handle that, to let you know, there's still something playing there. Now, if we go back to a song itself, so we'll go back to listen. Now, if we press and hold on one of the songs, press and hold, you'll see that we have the option now to view credits. This is now updated with iOS 17. So we can see not only lyrics, but also performing artists, composition and lyrics, production and engineering, and also the availability of the audio quality. So in this case it's lossless, but if it's in something else, it will be here as well. This is really great. It works on all different artists there. So again, if we go back to Ramsey's B go to view credits, you'll see the same thing. This only gives information about lossless. So not all of them have filled this out, but it's there. If the artist supports it, we've had the new synced lyrics option for a while. Now, as you scroll through tap on part of the lyrics, it will jump to that part of the song. However, if it doesn't have those synced lyrics and you go to maybe an indie artist or something else, go into that song and go into your lyrics. It now takes up more space and fills the screen. So it's easier to read. So it's a small visual change, but really nice. If you weren't able to see it before because it was so small and hard to read. Also, when you're playing a song, if you tap on airplay, it's nicely animated now where it wasn't before. And also it looks a little different if you're air playing. So if I send it maybe to the home office AirPod, we'll turn it down here. And while it's air playing to a different device, if we go to the upper right, you'll see that in the control center under the music icon, we have a new icon for airplay. So this is just a visual change, but again, goes along with the new design of the music app in general. Also on the lock screen, they've updated the icon based on what you're airplaying to. So in this case, it's a home pod tap on it and it shows the home pod, just a really nice visual touch that they've updated here as well. Also, one other small change they've made is the volume slider itself has inertia to it so we can slide it and it sort of just bounces back and forth now. So it's just a nice playful look, something a little bit different that's been updated. Back in our music selection, if I press and hold on a song and just go to create station, there's a new pop-up that shows up here that says station created. Again, just a small visual change. In music settings, there's an update as well. If we go into settings, go to music, under music settings, go down to where it says optimize storage. We have some new options this time around with none four, eight, 16, 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes for minimum storage. It can set aside this and then optimize the storage for your songs. Just a really nice update. There was only a couple options before they've just added some additional ones this time around. Also, one thing, if you haven't seen already is the music widget is now interactive. This is something that maybe could 
use some refinement over time, but if we press play, it will start playing music. It goes to the dynamic Island, as you can see there. If we tap on the album, it jumps into the album artwork. So again, it's just interactive music widgets. You have a couple different options and the same is true with podcast widgets. So if I add a podcast widget, you'll see it here. And again, if I press play, you can play it directly from the app itself. It starts playing or you can tap on it and go directly into that specific podcast. So really nice. If you want to use that, it's there as an option. You could fill your screen with widgets now that are fully interactive. Now, one thing that's not necessarily music itself, but is part of iPhone and part of something Apple owns is Shazam. Now there's the Shazam app itself, but if we go into Shazam here, we've got some nice options that they've updated, sort of updated the interface a little bit. And there we go. If we go into it, it just has a nice look to it overall. Of course, it's listening to what we've had most recently, but if maybe we search for a new song, we'll just go into the control center. Then we'll go to Shazam, hit the button here. And you can see the new animation that shows up when it actually recognizes a song. It's just a really nice looking animation that they've refined it a little bit with. After it's identified the song, we have two options now. If we tap on the album artwork, it will bring us directly into the Shazam app and give us the album information with upcoming concerts and more. If we tap on it again and tap music, it will bring us into Apple Music so we can listen to that album. So it's a nice little update to the interface and I think it looks great. With iOS 17, Apple also added the ability to share play with someone while you're using music, whether that's on CarPlay or maybe connected to Bluetooth in a car. It knows you're actually connected to a vehicle and then says, do you want to connect with someone nearby running iOS 17? If they're in your contacts list, you'll see it pop up and it says you'll be able to control what's playing in Apple Music from your device. So you can share with someone else, they'll be able to do that, or you can access that from the lock screen. So Cameron and Connor sent this in, they actually had this pop up at the same time on their screen and it shows like this. So you can just tap connect and share play that way. Of course, there's a share play icon as well, if you want to do that. So when you're connected to a car, you'll have a share play option. Another thing you can do with iOS 17 is if you have an iPhone and an Apple TV with Apple TV, you'll be able to use Apple music sing directly with the Apple TV and see yourself on the screen while you're actually singing or performing that song. You can see this is Apple's example with tvOS 17 on their Apple website where it has iOS 17 and tvOS where you show the TV here where there's someone in the background with sort of the lyrics overlaying them. So that's something you'll see once tvOS 17 is released as well. This works along with FaceTime as that's an option now to use your iPhone with FaceTime on Apple TV also. Now, one feature that we won't see for a little while has to do with playlists. If we go into our music app and maybe we have a playlist that we want to use. So under your playlist, you'll actually be able to create a new playlist and collaborate with someone else on that playlist. This again, isn't available yet. Maybe it will come with iOS 17.1 or something later, but basically it allows family and friends to sort of add and reorder and remove songs from the playlist itself. So you could actually set this up with one person, multiple people, or even have people react to that playlist as well. So that's something that's coming later on. So far, we haven't seen it. It could be added very soon or by the time iOS 17 releases to the public, but it looks like it would be a fun feature for those that want to actually share those playlists. As I mentioned before, podcasts has been updated. The first thing is an interactive widget. And if we go into podcasts itself, if you've recently played something, you'll have recently played and it will give the time and there's a little play button there. So let me turn down the volume. I can tap on play and it will play immediately. They've also redesigned the area where it plays itself. Similar to what we have with music, you have just a slightly different design. Compared to iOS 16 on the left, iOS 17 on the right, the background is a little bit different. It's more of a gray now, depending on what you're playing, and it sort of matches that. But also the playing area has changed also. So we have sleep here, where you can set a timer when the episode ends. Instead of that being down at the bottom, that's on the right. The same is true for the playback speed. They've just moved things around a little bit, so it looks a little different. So again, not a huge change, but something that's a little updated. You also have an option for what's playing next here, where it will show a list of what's actually going to play after this podcast. 
Also back on the main screen, you have an up next section where you have different podcasts, which would be up next. You can just scroll through and then of course, play them directly from here, download them, delete them or remove from up next altogether. Apple has also added Apple news plus audio stories directly in the podcast app. So it's some small changes, but some nice visual overhauls here that just make it easier to use. There were a lot of updates with iOS 16 and podcasts. And I think this is just more of a refinement as far as that goes. So those are all of the major changes with Apple music. There may be some small changes here and there, depending on what you're looking at with visual changes, icon sizes, and more. But for the most part, I think it did a really nice job or Apple did a really nice job making music just a little bit better. Hopefully we get all of those other features with collaborative playlists and more a little bit later. Let me know what your favorite Apple music feature is in the comments below. And if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.